So I'm doing mechanisms from um, this book, Mechanisms for the Generation of Plane Curves. Um, I'm going to look at a few ellipse mechanism, ellipse generating mechanisms um, in this um, video. We'll look at these, the very first couple they have here. Um, the Archimedes Trammel and a crank slider, which we'll, we'll see um, is equivalent. Share my screen. Um, so the Archimedes travel is pretty straightforward, and we need a um, set of axes. What I'm going to do is have a fixed length here, A to B, and I'm going to call that L. L. And we're going to let B run along the X axis and A run along the Y axis. So I'm just going to do this. Um, to get my, and then I'm going to f find the locus of a point lying on that curve, on the, uh, on the line. Let me uh, give it a particular distance. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, the locus of C there. But we need a parameter um, to define the locus. Uh, I'm going to define it in terms of the location of point B on the x-axis. That is effectively the x-coordinate. Uh, so B has got an x-coordinate of T. And now we can uh, create a locus. We have a parameter to vary T. Um, the locus of C as T varies. Um, there we have it. Um, let's give T some sensible, um, sensible negative limit. Maybe from minus eight to eight here. And we're getting uh, half of a curve looks like it might be an ellipse. Let's just um, check it. Equation of that curve. Well, there's the equation, a little bit complicated, but if we, do, if we eyeball it, we can see that in fact there's an x squared, there's a y squared, and there's a constant which has some the L and A in it. And so, in fact, this is drawing an ellipse. 